back to just a couple of key concepts for Unit 5 real quick. In Unit 5, we were dealing with fiscal policy and fiscal and monetary combinations. We did monetary unit 4. We need to put some stuff together. Now, just like we had the two types of monetary policy, we have the two types of fiscal, and we use them for exactly the same reasons. We've got expansionary and contractionary. Now, when we talked about expansionary monetary policy, we said that a government would use that or would best use that in a recession when you've got you know, a spending problem, when you have aggregate demand that's too low, for example, that you want to boost the spending in the economy, so you increase the money supply. Contractionary, we said, would be best used in a situation of high inflation. With fiscal policy, it's the same thing. Use expansionary fiscal during a recession, you would use contractionary fiscal when spending is too high with inflation, you want to cut it back. So the reasons to use them, exactly the same. The mechanisms are a little different. Now, with monetary policy, we're dealing with the money supply. We have the money market graph, and we shift the money supply one way or the other, depending on what we're actually using to try to adjust the economy. With fiscal policy, we're talking about two specific things. You can either adjust taxes or you can adjust government spending. Right? Using G for government spending because that's the way it is in your GDP equation we've been using all year. All right, now, if it is expansionary fiscal policy, you want people to have more money available to spend, you lower taxes. Now, that works, except that people don't spend 100% of the money that they now have in their pocket. Because, you know, you spend some, you save some, you're only going to spend as much as is implied by your MPC, your marginal propensity to consume. So some of that is going to get lost because people are going to save it. Whereas if you increase government spending, then 100% of that money goes straight into the economy. So this is actually a more direct approach than just lowering taxes, but it's lowering taxes that, you know, makes people happier. Contractionary policies would be the exact opposite. If you want to pull back the amount of spending that's going on in the economy, then you would raise taxes because that lowers disposable income and lowers the revenue potentially that's available for a business you know, if you're talking about corporate taxes, and pulls back aggregate demand. Similarly, you would reduce government spending because that's also going to reduce aggregate demand. So, does increasing taxes suffer from the same kind of leakage that decreasing taxes does? Not really, because if you're increasing taxes, then people are losing 100% of that money. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you reduce taxes, you know, 100% of the money is not going into the spending stream because people are going to hold some of it back. Okay. Um, now, if you want to talk about a leakage, there are theories, and I think that there is some validity to the theories, that when you raise taxes, it gives people more of an incentive to take advantage of tax loopholes so that as the tax rates actually go up, um, you know, people have more incentive to try to beat their taxes or to cheat on their taxes. I was going to say, um, isn't there a marginal propensity to cheat? Well, I don't know that there's any numbers on that, but, you know, in terms of a leakage, there is some validity, I think, to the idea. Um, and if you look at the Laffer curve, for example, in your book, um, the Laffer curve looks at this. In terms of higher tax rates actually reduce tax revenues because people, you know, try to use more loopholes. Um, so expansionary policies you would use when you have a recession, expansionary monetary or expansionary fiscal, contractionary policies when you have inflation, and we're talking about contractionary monetary or contractionary fiscal. Um, and use them for the same reasons, you would use them perhaps in combination at the same time.